Okay, so here we have the little mini solo castle with peaks. It's just a one by one honeycomb core. Where you get all your peaks. Um, you can put your put uh, walls almost right up next to it. You could have a real tiny, nice little solo compound. And I broke that low wall earlier. You hop on the low wall, access your entrance to your ladder hatch, and you have your peaks. Can't squeeze through. Get 360 degrees of visuals. And you can, like over here, you can section these off. I have frames, but you can't section these off. That's why I don't have uh, windows here. So we make little bedrooms. You got four bedrooms as a solo. Uh, you're gonna survive the raid no matter what. No one's breaking all four of your bedrooms and you get into your core. Um, I chose to have a bunker. You do not have to choose a bunker. You can just seal this off for honeycomb. So it's not just a max 16 rocket raid for your core. Um, yeah, I chose to have a bunker just because I could do something like this. And then I could do something like this. And it's essentially the same for loot wise, but the upkeep is very easy. I mean, 26 high qual, 1300 frags, 3k stone roughly. Um, if you do all high qual and then sheet metal honeycomb, it's like 50 high qual. But it's just a nice little solo castle. Here I got the bunker that and uh yeah you have to freehand the peaks which takes a little bit getting used to i don't know who invented the method but saw someone here teach me on this build server and yeah it's just pretty cool little solo castle with a one by one most bases that start with a one by one end up getting so huge just like you could just did a two by one but I wanted to build a little mini solo castle with peaks. A little mini base. It's actually useful with a one by one core. It's very easy. Uh, I'm gonna do the non-bunker version now, so it's it's a lot uh, it's a lot stronger. And you're just gonna start out like this. With your one by one core. And for a starter base, you're probably gonna wanna do this. So, and then leave this wood so you could hatch that out later. And you could choose all your stuff. You could solid honeycomb it if you want. And just build uh, this. Because we're going to put a ladder hatch there. It's going to be vulnerable from the top. This is why I like the bunker. But uh, yeah, once you once you upgrade a bit more, you're going to hatch that out. Break that, hatch that out. Find a way to get up. Uh, furnace, workbench, doesn't matter. And you're going to continue your base like so and one of these is going to be a jump up and the rest is going to be windowed protection um, for your lockers all your stuff doesn't matter and then uh just going to continue with the one by one honeycomb so you get to your third floor i like the third floor And this is essentially uh, your base here. Probably gonna have to find a weird way to get up to the roof, get a ladder, have a regular standard build up with stairs. Once you get to this point, you're going to need to do uh, the boo boo magic, and you're gonna put a triangle on the same direction of every single one, so you get the uh, get the ninja star footprint going on there. Then put two triangles like this on one side. You want it to be pretty uniform. So you can get your ninja star footprint, and then you're going to go on each one, put a square, going outwards, not towards the base. And here's where the voodoo magic starts. You're going to put low walls on that square to the left corner like this. And this is what's going to take some getting used to. So you're going to crouch in the corner of the low walls, and you're going to see this... No matter which angle you have, there's going to be this light spot of twig right there. And you're probably going to want a crosshair. So uh, I don't have the in-game crosshair going, but you're going to want to look right above it. And as soon as you do that, you're going to hold alt. So your cursor doesn't move and you bring out your hammer and demolish those two. Let go alt, make sure you're, you're good. 
We got a square foundation and go back a little bit, back as far as you can before it switches to the foundation like that. Important, like that. And you're gonna demolish these. Go back and check to see if it works and how you check to see if it works. If whatever you put here is gonna break that conditional corner graphic. Like that. One more time, it's gonna break the conditional corner graphic. That means it's, it's attaching fine. So now we could upgrade our two triangles and uh, attach it so it doesn't decay with one. And we're gonna repeat that on every side. Find the spot right above the light part of the twig. Hold Alt, get out your hammer, demolish, demolish, let go Alt, make sure you're in the right spot. Go back as far as you can while pulling out a square foundation. All while holding Alt. And then you're gonna, oop, you're gonna demolish, demolish. Go back, one square, two triangles. Check to see if it breaks the conditional corner. It does. And then repeat, rinse and repeat. And just like that. Now we have all of our peaks set up, and in the meantime, we can create some stupid jump up like this. Doesn't matter too much. Make some stupid jump up. So we have our top down here. And just like that, we're gonna need a ladder hatch for this. Build this kind of dependent on the ladder hatches. And just like that. And we're going to start on the peaks. And you want the, again, you want the ninja star equivalent. You don't want the swimming turtle or whatever. You don't want squares on the same side. So keep going with your ninja star. Connect everything. And then you feel free to upgrade. And because we put that one frame down there, we're going to upgrade everything from here. You just want two triangles on each one of your peaks, your little peak pods. And just like that, I like the wall off peak pods, so I mean you could use windows if you want. I like to sort of make these bedrooms because you could put walls on either side. You could seal them off. But put windows on the squares. And then I like uh, windows on this side, like such. Two doors. And then I jump up for my roof access. Seal this in. Here's your roof access, and then you're going to start sealing everything in. Follow the same uh, pattern. The only four pieces attached to the sticky peaks should be the two triangles. And then just like that, you have your non-pushable through. Can't push through these, can't cheese your way into these peaks. And then one thing is I do like to pick one that I could use as my jump up. You don't have to, but I like to go like this. So it's uh or even better you could do this. Put a shop front. It's essentially it's like your little door lock. And then you want a triangle ladder hatch. Break that. Break that. One low wall right here so you can reach your ladder hatch and then you're good you can get inside and one thing you want to do to make sure that breaking the foundations does not make the peaks fall is make these little crow's feet with three wall frames connected to your main building it's going to prevent uh nobody can even if they jackhammer out your foundations you build back so i don't lose it even if they jackhammer out your foundations, 
beaks would stay intact. Um, I did not have appropriate wall frames here. But yeah, so even if they jackhammer out your foundations, you're good. And yeah, this is just the little solo castle. And as I said before, you can sheet everything up. You can get your two layers of honeycomb. Or one layer of honeycomb, I guess. Get your two walls. And then the, the top of your... It's pretty uh, vulnerable through doors. That's why I like the bunker. Either way, it's never going to be uh, 32 rockets or whatever, something crazy. It's just a one by one. I mean, you could use one of these as a jump up, like so. You could use one. Uh, like this one triangle for jump ups. That might be a better solution, but uh, yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Still a one by one. No matter what, it's going to be 20 rockets max. But it's a sleek one by one with beaks and like just ridiculous small upkeep. So, one by one mini castle, and then like I did over there, you could deck out your roof if you want. Put triangle roofs on here, put windows or something. So it looks kind of goofy. And you could even do uh, power. Get yourself a uh, wind turbine up here. And again, you could also just compound everything in with a really tight building crew radius. super tight so they have to their build up isn't going to be until out here right original tc uh, it. yeah so the building priv is going to be super tight like here's my wall and i don't lose building priv until way out here this is where it starts i'd have to try and build a build up way out here which they're never going to make it in no matter what they do Far as build up, obviously, they can still ladder, but yeah, just a quick, cool little solo castle base. You have a bunker, you cannot have a bunker, but then your door cost or raid is gonna be real slim, All right? What's that one rocket for one rocket? And then you could do garage door, garage door, garage door, garage door, garage door, so like 15, yeah, so it's it's, it's always about 20 rockets, but. It's a great little solo compound mini castle.